To create an empty MIDI region, use the pencil tool. It's just as easy as clicking in the track where you want to create the region. Maybe I'll make one right here. So I'll click. There we go, an empty region. And of course, if you use the arrow tool, you can resize this region by just moving your pointer over the bottom and dragging. Also works from the left edge. Okay, so there's my region. I'll just grab it and drag to uh, move it to the beginning of this cycle region. Oh, you know, I'd be a bit remiss if I didn't point out that the pencil tool only creates MIDI regions. So here we've got an audio track. If I click to create a region, well, it looks like an audio region, but if I double click it, the piano roll editor opens up. This is one of the main editing windows in Logic, and it's used to input MIDI notes as small little beams across a piano keyboard. These beams are kind of like the little holes that are in the paper of a player piano, and consequently, this editor gets the name the Piano Roll Editor. Well, I've just put a bunch of MIDI information into an audio track. Now keep in mind that audio tracks aren't meant to play MIDI regions. And of course, the reason is because audio tracks use an input from your audio interface, whereas audio instrument tracks use an input it's a MIDI instrument. So consequently, this MIDI data is useless in the audio instrument track, so I might as well just press the delete key to get rid of it.